connected uh, the black wire to the positive uh, terminal, the black wire from the soap to the uh, black uh, battery terminal. Raymarine Dragonfly 7 Sonar GPS with Down Vision. You can actually use this um, sonar to see your lure, and I was able to um, see my fishing line and lure. Uh, it's very cool. So, what you do is that the first thing you do is you uh, um, hold the power button uh, down and then the dragonfly logo will come up and um, you know you of course you push this uh, power cable back into here and then uh, the other thing is so you know you connect this uh, very thin uh, red wire to the battery positive and this very thin negative wire to the battery negative and there you go you can power up this machine here is the transducer, um, so it's very portable. So today I actually just use it as like this, just connect everything like this and, and um, use it in my canoe and uh, just sit this thing inside of my canoe. I didn't even mount this outside of my canoe, just sit this thing, this transducer inside of my canoe through the, okay. So it asked me to enter okay. It's okay. So I enter okay. Okay. So um, what you do is you do the back thing. Um, see, when you do the back thing, you will come to here. Um, then you have the, you know, these, what's called the viewer switch. Um, I got something set up by an alarm, so let me get rid of it. Um, which is the fish alarm that I set up. Um, so right now it's the fish alarm, it's beeping. There is um, fish, but that's not really the case. So I'm just gonna press fish alarm off. There we go. So there's no more uh, fish alarm noise. And uh, here's the back button. You know, you go back to here. And then this is the tools and settings. So when you first get it, um, you know, so what I did was today I just uh, bury this transducer in um, inside of my canoe with water um, because I was sitting in at one end of my canoe so my um, the end by me was actually uh, very uh, heavy taking you know so I was able to you know just fill the water you know in cover this transducer and I was able to use this sonar um, inside of my canoe without um, mounting this outside of my canoe and I was able to you know get some really nice graph um, onto the uh, SD memory card anyway so uh, what you do is you press the back button there's the tools and setting you press um, that and uh, you press alarms so here you can you know um, set up your deep water arrival or your um, um, now I'm just gonna turn so by doing this turn you're actually um, moving down the screen for these options you can you know move go to the fish alarm press down this joystick uh, that means enter into the next screen you know and then um, I'm on the fish I'm you know dial um, clockwise and there's the fish was, you know and then Go back to the fish alarm. I just I just set it down off so I can press joystick again to you know to to have it on again. Press it down again. It's off. So let me go back out here, um, which is used back, not the counterclockwise. I use back again because I want to 
go to the system setting. So you go to system setting here, press OK for the joystick, and then there's the key uh, uh, beep uh, language you can choose, whatever, you know, English or whatever. And then uh, um, there's the GPS setup, there's the um, sonar setup, there's the time and day setup. Um, so you can set up the, you know, date you know and time you know and the local time and so forth you know so let's get out of this let's not set that there's also the simulator right now i have it off there's the maintenance let's go to maintenance to see what's going on in here so there's about this unit i just press ok this is a dragonfly there is all the um you know information and you dial down you can see further down you know um, there is a cartographic information as well um, gives me all the you know version uh, 1.15 um, you know you can dial this up you know and then you can see the part number uh, and the serial number you know for dragonfly um, and let's do back. Okay, so we got to uh, setting reset, settings and data reset, um, backup setting, restore settings. Um, and then also you can save logs um, and erase logs. Okay, so see, this, this is all your um, system setting maintenance. So let's just go to back and back again and you can dial down to you know dial this button down to back up and reset press enter and you got all these things save data to card uh, retrieve from card erase from card erase from system user setting you know, let's see what's this user setting uh, okay so you got all these settings so let's do back one screen and then you know counterclockwise the dial um, up let's uh, you know retrieve from car to see what we have today ah, there is an SD card one there is also the international um, let's do SD card one so there's the charts um, let's see this charts uh, system fish so there are these two files I created today. Um, yeah, but I don't think we can uh, access them from this. And um, so let's uh, get out of here. Get out of here. And then back to this setting. So if you uh, dial down to the right, there's your chart. You enter, and then you can see Right now, um, the GPS is not uh, working quite well, so, uh, you know, dial down, dial to the right, you zoom in, dial to the left, you zoom out, and uh, right now, I zoom out, you know, I just keep zooming out, and you can see, um, we're actually, where are we? still zooming out yeah, so you can see this is actually uh, Washington DC Arlington you can see that now so I was here uh, fishing here in Roaches Run in Washington DC um, right outside of uh, the lagoon uh, Reagan National Airport so that's where I was to try to uh, catch a few fish, you know, so let's get out of this. You know, so you have the chart, here you have the sonar, you know, so I press OK to get into the sonar, you know. So the, here is the water depth column, which is 0 to 30 feet, and the bottom is tw at 23.1 one, 23 feet. This left hand corner is actually a zoomed view of the 12.6 uh, water column, water depth to 27.6, which is the bottom. 
water temperature is 63 degrees. Of course, this is uh, not correct because I'm not in the water. I'm just trying to demo. Um, and then um, the next thing you do is uh, um, you press back. And then I'll show you the next, you know, dial to the right, which is the down vision. Just press OK. There is the down vision. Again, the water column is from depth is, you know, from the right, 0 to 30. And the view, the thing will come into the screen or uh, come in underneath the boat or the canoe. Um, I'll show you some real screen on my uh, you, the, uh, later uh, part of this video or the part two of this video. Anyway, so this is another um, get out of this uh, down vision. So there you can have the sonar and down vision split and um, the sonar will be on the top the down vision will be at the bottom and again this corner is from 0 to 60 feet deep this corner is from uh, 0 to 600 well no it just changed because I'm in not in the water so let's get out of this so you can split this into two uh, different um, views you know sonar and down vision and also chart and sonar let's press down to see that so on the right you know left hand side is the gra GPS graph and then uh, on the right hand side it's a sonar let's get out of this it, it does show you the speed and the temperature of the boat as well okay and then let's continue the dial which is the chart and down vision so you can have the GPS here and also the down vision there, which is very very cool. You know, it can dial down, dial to the right to zoom in, dial to the left to zoom out, and um, you know, so you can, you know, here you can place waypoint. You can navigate, um, dial down. You know, waypoints. You can also tracks. You know, while you're going. Um, this this feature is very uh, useful because you can track um, you can track your uh, places and you can see where you are uh, going you know so star track you know you can also import export anyhow so that's the GPS with the um, let's get out of there and, and down vision let's get out of there again so the next one is the setting again you know so there's a chart you know so the most this thing can split is only two panels I mean two things um, unlike Lorenz Lorenz can split three ways okay show both the GPS and also the down vision and the sonar in one screen but keep in mind it's only a seven inch screen so it's going to be too small if you show everything on one screen so you know I think two screens is more than enough um, you know so uh, don't get I don't need to get too greedy but here is the uh, Raymarine um, oh let me show you here you can you know dial down and dial, dial to the left to reduce the display brightness if you don't like it too bright and then uh, also you can uh, move it move the joystick down to the power save mode to save power you can also dis disable sonar um, let's do that again you can also eject your uh, memory card and here you use your joystick to move the cursor to here to the photo to the camera I'll do it again press the power again and there is your um, press the power for photo you can capture the screen image to your SD card um, and then if you hold it hold the power button down um, for three seconds the machine will power down see that and the dragonfly logo come up again so that's a preview I mean that's uh, thank you for watching that's uh, how you use the Raymarine and uh, I'll show you a few cool video of the um, the real water test so